Hi guys, my name is Harry. As you already know, React.js is one of the most famous front-end frameworks for building user interfaces. It is maintained by Facebook and a community of individual developers and companies. Usually, when you create a React application, you'll be creating a single-page app. You have a lot of different ways to set up the React framework, but in this video, we won't go into that. Instead, we talk about the errors you often encounter when building the React app, as well as how to fix them. Let's get started now. The most common mistake a beginner often makes is using the wrong syntax to set up React app. You may get confused about the command to install the React app. Should I use npm or npx? For me, npm is quite familiar with JavaScript libraries, so I will choose this one. npm, create React app, then draw app name and press enter. Immediately, we will get a message telling that this command doesn't exist. So how do we fix this error? You might wonder, is it possible to set up a React framework with a node package manager? The answer is definitely yes. To install React React app with npm, we use the command npm init react app and job name. With this command, we will make a React React app called Harry Farm Dev. Wait a few minutes for the installation to take place. So why when we using the command npm and create React app, we fail? If we use this command npm create React app, your app name, we execute the local create React app package from our machine. In our case, the create React app package is unavailable, so we need to install it first and then make it available. With the command npm install dash g create React app, the flag g is telling npm to install package globally. After that, run again our command with npm. We will succeed. I don't recommend you guys fix our error in this way because I don't want to pollute our system with a global package that you only run once every two months. On the other hand, if you run npx create react app and your app name, and you don't have the create react app package on your system, it will get downloaded without the need to install create react app itself. So we have successfully installed a react app. One thing you need to know is the command I use npm init react app only works with the npm version greater than 6. Here, my computer is using npm version 6.14. If your computer is using npm version less than 6, then when using this command to install a React app, it simply creates a package.json file for managing install libraries, not a React framework. This process is exactly the same as when you set up JavaScript environment for a Node.js platform. In order to make setting up the single page app easier, a CLI tool called Create React App was made. Here are the commands we can use to create a React application. This command will generate a new React app called Harry Farm Dev. The npx is not a typo. It is a package runner tool that comes with the npm version greater than 5.2. It is super easy to create a React app with the CLI, and then you may have this error. The version of the Node.js is incompatible. So how can we get rid of this trouble? First, we need to know what is our Node.js version. The easiest way to do that is opening the command prompt with the shortcut window R. Then, to check the Node.js version, we use the command node dash dash version. As you can see here, this is my Node.js version 10 by 10, and it makes an error when I create a React app. Some packages in the process creating React.js is incompatible with this Node.js version. We can do the same thing to check the npm version, npm dash dash version. To create a new React app, Facebook recommends us to install the latest version of Node.js so we can use the latest JavaScript features, provides a nice developer experience, and optimize our app for production. 
Right here, depend on your operating system, you can upgrade your Node.js to the latest version with Windows, Mac, or Linux. I will download it with the version for my Windows computer. Open the Node.js setup file, click Next, then accept the terms of using the software. Keep the default location, click Next to finish the process. After we successfully install the nearest Node.js, let's check the Node.js version again. As you can see here, the NPM has been updated and we are using the latest version for Node.js, 12.18 at the time I'm making this video. Now try again the command to create a React app. We still use the same command, the only difference is that we updated version for Node.js. As you can see here, the installation is going normally. The necessary packages for a React app are installed. We can see the words happy hacking in the console. Similarly, when the React app is installed successfully, this is the structure for a React app. In addition to these two common errors, there are many other errors you may encounter, like this, or this one, or this one. In the past, we have many types of errors, but luckily, they are already resolved by Facebook with the Create React App CLI. If you still have other errors that are different from all these errors I mentioned in this video, the following steps may have. First, you need to clear the npm cache with the command npm cache clean dash dash force. Second, run this command to install the Create React App globally npm install dash g create react app finally use the command npx create react app and job name in this video we talk about all these errors you may have when setting up a react framework if you're still stuck with this setup please let me know by comment below this video don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the newest video have a good day and see you guys in the next video